Just ask Caesar. Where's Caesar at, man? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm only in it for the bananas. You must be the, the most <laughs> highest paid animal in movie history then, right? Yeah, actually, I feel bad. I'm taking t- taking jobs away from real animals. Right? I don't know, man. You ever went to the Bronx Zoo and they look at you funny? Like, yeah, they're like, where's, where's, where's my agent? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know you know what everybody's talking about? That, they're, that they're, there's really no category for what you do, like, especially in the Oscars. Like, you, you think you might deserve an award for, like, you know, it's more than just being inside the... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, you know, ultimately it's not, it's kind of, it's just acting at the end of the day. You know, mm. what, what I do is acting. And, and so I don't think there should uh, there should ever be any sort of special category for it. You know, I think I think there's two parts of the process. There's what we do as actors on set, which is, you know, we play you know mm. play Caesar and, and all the other ape actors do their thing. And, um, you know, and then the visual effects team are brilliant, Weta, who, who take our performances and then they, they, they uh, you know, they, they, they bring it to they life. Bring right? it to life. Well, they, they they don't bring it to life because we bring it to life on set. But what what they do is they take the performance and then they map it and are able to put it on these eight faces and make it look real. And that's that's it's unbelievable the effects this going on. I was fortunate enough to 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 see the movie already, and you know the bar was set already so sure. high from the last movie. But Thank this, God. but this one is it's it's just ridiculous. Yeah, no, I mean that the you know it's three years on and the technology has moved forward, but also the artistry of the people involved is really you know the understanding of how to take those performances and and translate the emotions so that they really mean something um so it's so it's it's yeah i mean it's a really it, it's a pretty powerful movie i think i mean hollywood is talking about that you should get an award forget about the technology forget about the effects like you should get an award well for, for caesar that would be very nice because you didn't really talk much on the first one now you're like <laughs> talking crazy now yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you got t- you got kids and everything uh, caesar was busy the last oh, yeah uh, i mean he's since 10 years have passed he's, he's got a he's got a lot on his shoulders he's got a he's got he's got a lot of problems that that i think we all relate to mm. so, totally i mean that's what i think so so great about this movie i mean i do think it's a movie for our times i think it's really you know like the original planet of the apes sequence of, of films you know it was about social commentary it was about civil rights you know that the, this, the, you know this film. I think is really saying something about the world that we live in and the conflict and the potential for for you know it running out of control and and the need to listen and have empathy for for not just your own tribe. Basically, yeah, it's amazing how you know Caesar controls like thousands of apes and different types of apes. Like, yeah, and I think that's part of the man. It's hard being the boss. Yeah, you know, it's it's hard being the leader. Absolutely, and, I mean, and, you and, look at any leader, and, and and you look at them when they start, you know, you, you when they start, and, and four years later when they're going to to be reelected or not, then uh, you can see how how many gray hairs and and how many yeah. furrowed brows they got. <laughs> and without without giving away too much of the story, part of part of it is him having to Caesar having to navigate through uh, being a leader, and 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 yeah, you know the the things that that you run into aside from, you know. The, the potential threat of, of humans yeah. is just being, you know, handling things in your own backyard. Exactly that. I mean, you know, the, the thing is, the apes are, they all have their own opinions about human beings. Caesar was brought up with humans, and so he was loved by humans, and so he has a certain attitude towards, you know, the, if you remember back in Rise, the James, yeah. James Franco. So character. he knows how to balance out yeah, the situation. He, he feels, you know, he knows that, that that everyone is trying to survive. So the humans are, you know, they've they've survived this pandemic, which has wiped out most of the human population. But he doesn't he doesn't necessarily want to beat down on them any f- any further. They, they've mm. got their own problems going on. So when when the, when the humans turn up on the scene into their territory, um, you know, he he does he just wants it to be over. He wants to help them to, to, to do what they need to do which is to restore power to the city and then then they'll go away and, yeah, then, and be then, on their and way be on their way and then it'll be a peaceful solution and and um of course, not all of the apes necessarily agree with him because they all have their own world view, a particular one ape called Koba who was brought up in a lab and was tortured wow. in effect. You know, mm. he was he was brutalized and, and um, you know, experiments were performed on him and, and so he... Caesar has tried to to make him understand that the the easy way the easy the, the easy way is to have conflict and the most difficult thing to do is to not have a kind of knee jerk reaction to go to go and cause you know to cause any more problems and Caesar is a kind of conflicted it's half human half ape in a way because he was brought up with humans right. you know that's that's the the, the 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 central kind of journey I suppose because he 
he has this link to humanity and and the the part that Jason Clark plays the Malcolm character who is the on on the human side he's the one who sees in Caesar a, a potential for for a, you know a peaceful solution um, their relationship is really important and because it, it, it's it revolves around trust which if, you know does break down as well along along the way um, but it's a, you know I think I think this is a movie for 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 now I think it's really says something a lot as as I say as did the um, the original killing going on talking there's a, there's more talking in this one not 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 yeah. especially with the the apes yeah that was that, that that was the big challenge of this movie actually was to is, was to kind of have them have people believe that these apes could talk and not just I mean it's easy enough when you when you when you you know you, you've got words which are kind of fueled with anger or aggression mm. and you go go or you know or whatever you know but but when you've got to do when you've got to talk kind philosophically later when Caesar begins to talk philosophically or reflectively later on and 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 have a put together an intellectual argument that's really hard to convey to an audience and make yeah because you got one it. ape who's d- definitely more advanced and smarter than right. yeah you know then, then, then he's then, he's trying to teach them or yeah exactly. not even teaching but just to relate because they can't keep up with him no right exactly so so it was just it's just you know how's this gonna how's this gonna work so we so we spent we did we we basically had a, an eight camp before we started oh the, wow because because that's not, crazy. not to mention in this in this film there's hundreds of them yeah like <laughs> yeah. i don't know how you pulled it off yeah there's two there's two thousand apes in the community <laughs> wow and, and, and we had there was 15 or i think there was 12 between 12 and 15 ape performers and we ended up all playing um all of those characters going back and reshooting in 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 blocks all of the uh, you know so all of the when you see scenes with many many apes in it's it's the core group of ape performers going back and playing other characters in in, in them as well you know i didn't do so much of that this time I, actually i did in the last in the in rise me and terry notary who was the pub performance coach who teach teaches everybody how to be their apes the basically the two of us did uh, did all of the other apes in the sanctuary so oh so wow there, there was like um there were like, so they paid you extra for that no <laughs> <laughs> i think you got a raise this time around what? <laughs> <laughs> uh weapons i, I see that the, the apes are like advanced now with the burners i mean with the guns i said burner I, i'm in the hood right now i'm sorry <laughs> we hanging with too much gangsters lately yeah but uh i see the weapons are into play now. they they make life very difficult <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, actually, funny enough, I was just saying—I was saying earlier to someone, you know, this is—this is, this is, you know, journalists said, uh, you know, this is the one movie, the one blockbuster where you know you don't want the the, the, the shooting to start happening, you don't want the yeah. you want it to kick off because you you have invested in all of the characters, whether they be human or whether they be ape, and I think that's really interesting. But but uh, but yeah, no, there are some awesome act- action sequences. I no, mean, really there's incredible. a component of the movie that it's it's a war film on top of everything else, right? Exactly, and so when I say war, whoa, man! Yeah, no, it kicks it's, off. It kicks off big time. And it's ridiculous. There's, 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 a, there's, you know, and and not in the way that people would expect either, because you actually, you know, you, it doesn't come from. Oh, I don't want to give too much away, but yeah. it, it doesn't come from where you think it's going to come from. The the conflict, you know. And yeah, I, he was I, telling me they had like, like eye popping out effects that you're like, how did yeah, they do that? Like, yeah, yeah, no, it's amazing. but even even to the simplest stuff, because like, they're living in the forest. Yeah. And it's raining all the time, and like you see, like the the water dripping on the fur, like it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Now the visual effects are uh, are off the chain on this. I mean, <laughs> well, they did do like a billion on the last one. Yeah, so <laughs> they, they, they had some some throw around money. So a- action is the main. Like when people go see this, they're definitely like you're oh, gonna get like yeah. not, like eighty percent action. But it's but yeah, but it's it's not eighty percent. But it's bal- it's balanced in a way that that it's not mindless. It's it's brilliant storytelling. So mm. so that you it comes in when when it's necessary and it kind of build it sort of holds back and holds back and then when it lets go, man, it's just insane. It really is. It's incredible. We got a lot of cult idiots out there that's annoying me from the 1968 movie uh, with Charles uh, Heston like uh, Charles and Heston did, did, did y'all take anything from that you know well, since, since the future is coming in it's like you know a couple of years later but you know of it, course it's about the astronaut coming in and all but did y'all watch that movie to take anything from there well I mean in, in Rise actually there, there's a yeah, lot there was of, a lot of the, little a little homages to, yeah. to uh, you know to, to, to you know like even Maurice the character of Maurice right. was was, um, was uh, the Dr. Zayas character exactly yeah. and um Morris Evans was the actor, you know. There's lot, and then Icarus you see taking off. Right. You know, it's reported that Icarus, the the, the spaceship, has taken off, and so oh wow. On. So, so they're they're little, but in fact, not so much in this. In it has to be said, in Dawn, it, it sort of it, it it becomes its own thing. But then it'll you know it'll segue back into that. Are you gonna leak that? That's gonna be like the next. Uh... Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, it's, it seems like it's a it's a given that 
that there's going to be a, a a sequel. There, there is. I mean, there, 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 there is. It's already. It's been announced. So, and Matt Reeves is going to direct it. So, uh, right. And and he he's just he did, done, a, he did an amazing he's just done job. an incredible job on this film. And you know why? Because because it's 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 a blockbuster, but it's it's got brains. It's really intelligently directed and intelligently written, and 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 emo, you know, and it's got an emotional center to it, which is why everything is balanced very very well. You know, the the, the action the you know the shootouts and all of that is balanced by a real drama. It's not. It's not just like mindless. You know how many um shock points is in this movie? Because I remember from the last movie when Caesar finally spoke. Uh, I'll never forget like the whole audience in the theater like everybody's head went back. Like yeah, no, I think there's a few. There's a few little. Oh, moments. Really? There's, a few mo- there's a few moments in this where where it kind of isn't going where you expect it to go. You know? I just got a heart transplant. I don't want to fucking <laughs> die. You know what I'm saying? I'm an old guy. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 uh, Mister Guy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm old too. I'm an I'm a original Planet of the Apes nerd, and I I just I want to say things about the film, but then I'm giving away too much. Yeah, no, I know it's it's difficult, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I found that just it, just it, the you know just the way it opens up, where there's not even any human presence in the film for the initial you know yeah for a whole chunk i mean that was that that's absolutely what matt wanted to do he wanted to suddenly start the world within within the world of the apes yeah i'm giving away too much already you know and 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 you know before 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 the humans turn up basically you you get a good you live with the apes for a bit you know and uh you got beef with uh gary oldman so uh character so that's the leader that you're up against in the, in the movie. Yeah. How is it to interact, interact with that guy? In the, in well, the, you know, the, the the sad thing for me <laughs> as an actor was that I never got to play a scene with Gary. I mean, we were sort of no, uh, no. Are you serious? It was, you know, that's he's crazy. Been, I've been such a massive, massive fan of of his for years. You know, back in the UK, he's such a brilliant, brilliant actor. Um, yeah, everything he does he uh, brings his. Yeah, he's unique. And he really is. He lives it. He's not afraid to go there, you know. And he's brilliant in this movie. And he plays a character called Dreyfus, which is a which is the leader of the of the human mm-hmm. uh, the human community who have been to hell basically, uh, trying to survive this virus and then the civil war that came out of that. And you know, he he's lost all his family, and, and he he just plays. He doesn't play him as a one dimensional villain, you know. He plays he plays it with real, you know. There's there's lots of layers and depth to to the character that he plays. Should I move to San Francisco since I know that the apocalypse and the, the virus is going to be popping off? I should just move to San Francisco. I don't know. What are we doing here? I don't know. They have earthquakes, so I don't know. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, anything you want to shout out about uh, uh, one killing move or one... I mean, you, you, they would have to go check it out. I'm, I, you told me there's a few different, like... Like, no, vicious attacks no, like some really yeah really unexpected brutal like animalistic like, attacks like yeah, did yeah, you have to yeah, do research yeah, on that to yeah, see how apes like yeah. kind of like fight each other and stuff like that yeah this, this, uh, yeah absolutely I've never seen that I don't think I've ever seen like like ape attacks like real well it's interesting because I mean chimpanzees can get very aggressive but m- the, um, most uh, most chimpanzees um, who d- who are uh, like the ultra aggressive chimpanzees have lived in areas of violence so like oh. well, there's areas of civil war so they've they've it's learnt behavior I mean, they're, 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 they're incredibly strong. They're five times as strong as a human. You know, like a female chimpanzee is like five times as strong as a, an adult human. And people want them as pets. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, no, man. I know. The last one ripped that lady yeah, head off. Like, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 No, this is not a game. I should get one to, you know, have with my wife at home, man. I should get one to just leave them together. So, <laughs> huh? Let's get out of that. Thought of the fucking hey, Thought of the Planet of the Apes. You see him talking about here talking about my wife a curse, man. <laughs> thought of the Planet of the Apes is everywhere. And then uh, next time you're gonna come back and then tell us what you bought from the new check, man. Like, you know, what is you know Yeah, well let me think. What are you buying I'm before you fan- go? I'm just fantasizing at the moment. You're not you know? buying a Maybach or a Phantom or yeah, anything. What, like what's that? what's gonna be your next film? Or is it gonna be uh, you as playing, you know, you in human form. Like, <laughs> I'm actually directing my next. I'm directing ah, my next. Thing. Yeah, oh that's, that's snap! I mean. Okay, uh, yeah, check me out. I'm, uh, yeah, no, I'm uh, directing Jungle Book. Oh, get out of here! Directing Jungle Book, yeah. but of course, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gotta make sense, man. Hey, oh yes, uh, who's like gonna be the monkey in Jungle yeah. Book? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's uh, yeah. After wait, why do you want a job? Want I a want job? a job yeah, right yeah, now. You know, yeah. they call me a monkey. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy, oh, you know, whatever. We're out of here. What's your play? Shape.